Hey, this is Dan. Welcome back to Real Vape Review. And I have a small e cig review that is directed for the ladies out there. And this one today is going to be called Venus. And nice little gift box here. And this is actually going to be from e -cig or Electronic Cigarette Wholesales. I will show it up above. I will link it down below. Um, but yeah, it comes in a nice little gift pack here. And I'm going to go ahead and change camera views now. I'm going to do an unboxing, so to speak. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you what's inside. So let's go ahead and transition and I'll show you the package. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the Venus from Electronic Cigarette Wholesales.com. And let's go ahead and open this up. Like, first of all, it's a nice uh, uh, velvety pouch, got really nice softness to it. Really pretty little design for sure. Definitely, like I said, directed for the ladies. Um, but yeah, it's nice crushed velvet on here. Very, very nice. So let's go ahead and pull this open. Yeah. Okay, and first of all, we got a little instruction book on the inside that says Venus Instruction Manual. And it's got a little bit of information in there on how to run the little Venus and what it contains. And it has the atomizer, a battery body, the TG75400 battery cell, atomizer coil, uh, kernel control part, and packaging or packing gift box. So, yeah, this is what the actual little kit comes with. And like I said, it's very, very girly. It has a little small battery in here, a little tank, and then a USB charger. Let's go ahead and pull the USB charger out real quick and have a look at it. Now, it is a standard 510 connecting uh, uh, recharger, USB port driver. So, basically, you plug your little battery compartment into this and be able to charge it back up. Go ahead and take a look at the actual unit itself. Now, I will go into a little more detail on that in just a second. And then it also has the actual uh, tank on there. It's a very small little tank, but it's kind of nice looking. It's got a very nice little bedazzled design on there. Let's go ahead and set the box to the side and the instruction book to the side real quick. Let's go ahead and show you the actual. First of all, let's go ahead and go with the tank. Now, the tank has a 2 ohm resistant uh, head on it. Let me go ahead and zoom in just a little bit so you can get a little better look. And on the front of it here, it has, it says TG Venus on the bottom right down in this section here. And it's got, like I said, nice pink bedazzling going on. It's got a red drop tube up to the center of it and a red, and this is kind of a metallic aluminum uh, drip tip on there. And to fill this up, you actually unscrew the little head here. And you take it out and then you actually just fill it up down the side of the draw tube right here. And I'm not sure exactly how much it holds. I checked on the website and I'm thinking it probably holds between probably 1.2 and 1.6 milliliters of fluid. And the fluid I have filled up in there today is actually going to be from my Nick Pickbacks, Nick Pick Box, my monthly subscription service. And it's going to be Cyber E-Liquids uh, Vader, 6 milligrams of nicotine. That's what I have loaded up in there today. So, but yeah, then if you used to take this apart, you'd actually unscrew the top of it. You could actually unscrew the small head here, twist it out, and the whole entire head and everything comes out of the bottom of it. And that's how you could actually get to your head and clean it out. So it is, you know, you can break it down and, you know, actually tear it apart and, and you know, either repair or clean it or replace it, anything you wanted to on that end of it. So overall, the little head is decent for sure. Or not the head, the actual little tank is decent. It's small, it's a CE4 stylish type, CE5 stylish, but the little head in there, the little control head, looks very similar to what you'd find in a T3S or a VV Nova um, bottom single coil uh, tank. So we'll go ahead and set that aside. Now this is the actual uh, battery compartment, but the battery compartment actually, when it said that in the instructions, it had a little kernel head and a little control head. This is the actual control head it's talking about. Standard 510 connecting threads on the inside, and it has a nice little floating uh, pin on the inside. Let me go ahead and grab my little poking tool, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a little poke on the inside just to see how much flex it does have. And if you can see that, it actually does drop down in there quite a way. So it's got really nice throw on a little floating pin. It, it actually goes in quite a bit. So you can hook various types of 510 connected, you know, tanks to this as well. And then where it screws into the actual body, this little piece right here, it actually, you see the gold. Now the gold on this, according to the website, is 24 karat uh, plated gold. So it's, by the way, this is a very expensive little unit. But it has the gold on there, and then this little white piece right here, the little that looks like stainless, is actually a, a plastic piece that has blue LED lights under it. So when you vape on it, you actually, the little thing lights up blue around there. It's very classy looking, very nice. All right, let's go ahead and actually take a look at the battery tube itself. And as you can see, it's a nice pink color. I wish the pink would actually show up on camera a little bit better, but it is very pink, very bedazzled, very sparkly, and little jewels all over it. And 
and the end of it though down here does have one larger jewel on the end it does not light up and i kind of figured it would when i first got it but that actually does not light up but it's very classy looking it's got one small uh air hole in the end here for battery ventilation it's actually got one on each side so it does have an air hole on each side of it now go ahead and pull this out it has a very little slim tg 75 400 uh uh, 150 mAh battery so it's a very tiny battery your battery life is going to be very short with this little unit but what I'm thinking they're you know they're directing it towards more of the female audience and maybe if you have a night out on the town maybe a little higher end um, you know black tie affair type thing you could actually take this out and you know have your really nice little have a nice little e-cig to go with you while you're out on the go. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So we'll go ahead and put the control head back on there. Now there, you notice there is no button on this at all. It has no button. It's just basically you suck on it and you draw in and that is the, it actuates the little uh, thing on the inside and allows you to intake the, you know, the vapor. So this is the actual unit all put together. Let me go ahead and zoom out just a little bit here. So yeah, this is the actual unit all put together. It, like I said, it's very classy looking, like I said, directed towards the female uh, audience. Uh, to actually charge the charge the little uh, battery up, you actually charge it up inside of the actual uh, tube. I don't know if you can actually put it into a regular battery charger like the Nightcore uh, IntelliCharger or not, but you can just charge, plug this, screw this right into the USB charger, screw that into the wall, or screw that, screw it into the wall. Plug this into your computer, plug it into a regular adapter, or whatever, into your wall. Five volt output on this, and yes, yeah, decent little charger. But yeah, that's how you charge it up when your battery does get dead. And like I said, this does light up in blue all the way around there. So we'll go ahead and put this back into place. And like I said, I have uh, Cyber E-Liquids Vader loaded up in there right now. So let's go ahead and switch back to me. I'm going to talk to you about a couple of positives and one major negative about this uh, Venus E-Sig. All right, before we get going too much further here, let me go ahead and have a puff of this uh, little Venus E-Sig. Vapor production, mediocre. Now, I'm going to grade this on an Ego style since it's similar to the Ego variations of regular... Uh, Regular e cigs I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't you know, compare it to the Sigeli, of course, or a Mech Mod. Uh, very, very small. It's very small compared to this 1100 mAh Ego, which is pretty good size. It's 1100 mAh. This is a 150 mAh battery. Big letdown on that end. But like I said, I think that the folks that, that built this are, are marketing towards females who are trying to get out and try to be a little more maybe pretentious or... Pretentious is not necessarily even the right word, but a little high class. If you're going out maybe to a nightclub or something, and the females will want to take this out with them, or some of the dandy males, you never know. I mean, pink, else not a bad color. I don't mind pink at all. But maybe they want to take this out with them, and like I said, it's a black tie affair. Nice little fancy e-cig for them to vape on. Now, according to the website, it does have 24 karat gold plating on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the different connectors in here. It has... Uh, uh, stainless steel connector for the battery that connects to the battery uh, brass or possibly gold plated that actually connects on the bottom of the actual tank let me go ahead and show you this on the bottom of the 510 now it looks very similar to brass so is it authentic gold I don't know just going by what they say you know I don't really have any way to test if it's gold plated or not I just know it's very stylish looking it's very sparkly it's very bedazzling it's very nice on that end of it so talk about the one major 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 downer of this little unit here um according to their website it's uh close to 80 bucks so 78 dollars something like that 78 let me go ahead and pop it open real quick and it is 79.80 for the Venus uh, e-cig. Now it has 150 mAh battery, very short battery life, but maybe for uh, you know for a short evening out for the ladies, maybe something they can actually use and enjoy. Um, see a couple other specifications on this. Now it does say it contains thermal protection, two seconds automatically without electricity. No clue what that means. Um, crossing the gold surface, uh, suitable for the ladies, no minimum quantity. Um, 
high-end crystal and it has a certificate and when I first opened this actually I lost the certificate and I couldn't find it again nice little gift box I mean it's like a like a like a ring box like I said it's something you'd present as a gift to to your lady friend or like I said your dandy friend either way but yeah let's go ahead and have another vape on this vapor production very mediocre, um, but it's a very small unit. It's you're not going to get, you know, you're not going to get the vapor production you would out of a Mecha Mod and an RDA. So, I mean, of course, that's not going to happen. So, the vapor for the size of it, about right. It's about what you'd expect out of it. It's not horrible. Just not fantastic either. Um, two ohm resistant head. I did pull this out and check it on an ohm checker. It has a 2.14 ohm resistance on there, so roughly a two a two ohm head. Um, yeah, the biggest downer is just the price point on this. Uh, almost 80 bucks for this little unit. Like I said, is it worth it? I don't know. I, I can't honestly tell you if it's actually got 24 karat uh, gold gold plating on there. I can't tell you if the actual jewels. I mean, it seems very well constructed. The jewels don't feel like they're gonna you know flip off or pull off it's very well built so honestly is it worth it <clears throat> for me no nope, definitely not I would say it's a it's a no strict strictly based on that price point the actual little unit it's fine the actual little battery in there it's fine it's a small small battery for an evening out for a lady I, I get it small little tank I get it does it look good yeah it looks pretty classy all the way around it, it's a classy little unit it's got a good look to it like I said, a little pretentious. Yeah, it's a little pretentious. It's a little, you know, it is what it is. I mean, like I said, it's designed for the ladies. Now, when it does, when you do vape on it, this little, uh, where the two gold is here, it has a little plastic band around the center that lights up blue. And the end of it here, although it does have this crystal on the end, it does not light up at all. And you'd think that it probably would, but it doesn't. Like that. And vapor production, not horrible. It's not brutal. It's not bad. Very on par for the size of it. So, overall ratings on Venus from uh, Electronic Cigarette Wholesales.com. I'll show it up above. I'll link it down below. Overall ratings on this vapor production is going to get probably about a six and a half, seven out of ten. It's not horrible, but it's also not too good either. Um, battery life. Um, it's going to get about a 2 out of 10 for battery life. Very, very small battery. Uh, 150 mAh is going to only last you a couple hours. Quality of the build. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. It's very quality. It's, it's definitely got some nice dur durability to it. It feels steady. The threading, you know, it feels sturdy. I mean, the threading, all really nice threading. Doesn't have any issues with it. I have actually pulled this little... Uh, tank off there and put on a little bigger tank and it actually worked just fine like I said it will drain your battery quicker of course if you have you know larger larger tanks on there with lower resistance and put more power through them it will of course drain your battery that much quicker but yeah so durability 9 out of 10 it's a very durable little unit presentation with a little gift box the little instruction manual it's got a lot of decent decently written um, it's definitely from China so it has some language barrier issues but the overall kit the way it comes the little charger and everything, I'll give that a 10 out of 10. Presentation is fantastic. I mean, my daughter wants this little box. Of course, she's not going to get it, my six-year-old daughter. She wants this little box. I'm going to gut the inside of it and just give her the little box, and she'll have a little jewelry box for her. So she's excited about the, the velvet. Like I said, it's a crushed velvet, very nice, very smooth, very nice. Like I said, a little pretentious, but very nice. It's a nice. It would make a nice gift for the ladies for sure. But very pricey. Almost what is it? 80 bucks, I always said. Keep forgetting. 79.80 for one. You have one battery, one tank, one little charger, this little gift pack, and that's it. For 80 bucks, do it do it think about it this way. For 80 bucks, I can get this, which is the iTaste BTR, or I can get the Venus. Kind of a no-brainer in my opinion, but like I said, if you want to get something for your lady for a nice night out, a black tie event type thing, there you go. There you go. All right, that is it for today, guys. Um, definitely check out electronic uh, cigarette uh, wholesales.com. I will show them up below, link them down below. They have a lot more items, of course, than just this, and their prices on other items are you know below average where they should be. So or below average or below the normal market value for stuff. So they got some really good deals on stuff. I just don't personally think this is a good deal. 
if it is actually 24 karat gold uh, plated on there, yeah, that's probably a good deal. Very fancy, very, very beautiful, very sparkly and bedazzled. If it's not, it's a lot of money for a little brass connected, uh, you know, e-cig. So, all right, guys, check out all my links that I got going on down below. Click that show more button to see all my other links that are going on for all my social media. And we'll catch you guys on the next review. Stay charged and vape on.